Vera 2022, we added several new features to enhance your workflows and visual quality. Our Stream app has a redesigned user interface. You can set yourself as a presenter and the others as viewer. And you can take screenshots of the scene directly within the app. We also added the option to deal with VRED annotations within the app. Or you can switch to interactive HTML annotations and edit text and color directly in the viewport. And also frame count is now available where you can monitor your streaming performance. For importing, we support now alias reference assemblies. So referenced files in alias will be imported as well. You will see the reference files in a separate reference manager group node in the VRED scene. We also can now create texture-based light maps additionally to the existing vertex baking. Texture baking is very helpful if you need high quality light and shadow baking for your real-time scenes while keeping the polygon count low and the visual quality and performance high. The light maps will be calculated in the bake, light and shadow dialog and it supports GPU and CPU ray tracing. After adjusting the settings to your needs and selecting a UV generation method, you just have to click on Calculate and that's it. You can see the light baking textures in the Advanced tab and on the model directly by selecting the new pre-computed illumination render option. The newly created light map also has a separate UV set that you can see in the UV editor under UV sets. Here, you can also create a separate UV set for the light maps or copy the existing one and tweak your UVs to your needs. Also available in the UV editor now is an automatic seam selection that can be a real time saver for generating UVs. When exporting as an FBX, we also store the UV sets within the file for better workflow integration with other visualization tools. Also, the shader model has been changed to the GGX BRDF standard. This more closely mimics the look for realistic reflections on rough surfaces and results in a more crisp image quality. We also improved the HDR environment sampling to make real-time scenes look even more realistic. In GPU ray tracing, we added the support for photo mapping, like you can see here on this architectural scene. And also final gathering is supported. And you can see changes in real time. But also caustics and indirect lighting with real-time feedback is supported. This can make your decision-making process much faster now. Also ray files are supported in GPU ray tracing. As you see here on this light pipe scene, which has a ray file included. For getting a noise-free image when using ray files, you need a very high number of rays. In case you don't have enough rays pre-simulated, you can now increase the new cone emitter value. This new cone sampling method reduces the noise massively and decreases your image quality. With this version, we also support the new Vario XR3 headset, which gives you a complete different grade of immersion using latest AR technologies. Thanks for watching the video.